You'd think that UFC 266 was held at the Thunderdome. Two men entered, Volkanovski leaves, still with the belt. Let's get in the video, guys. Welcome back to another 11th Island Immediate Reaction. I'm Brad here with Chris, and again, special guest Brock coming back for the Immediate Reactions. And I think, guys, we might have just seen one of the fights of the year, and maybe the best round in round number three I've ever seen in my entire life. Alexander Volkanovsky retaining his featherweight title, beating Brian Ortega by unanimous decision. And guys, can I just start it off riff yeah, a little bit yeah, here? Let's, let's Alexander Volkanovsky deserves some respect here people ever since the last Holloway and I'm gonna take I'm gonna take it on the chin here I was saying Holloway going into this was a featherweight goat and whoever won this was just gonna be able to beat by Vol Holloway I don't know about that Volkanovski I mean he did beat Holloway in the first fight second fight is debatable put a clinic on Ortega here mm -hmm. people want to talk about Ho Jose Aldo being the featherweight goat beat Aldo too Aldo's not washed he's still pretty competitive yeah. right yeah. now yeah I mean Volkanovski is the featherweight goat right now he's beat the last two featherweight goats clinic tonight against a much improved ortega you can't even compare this ortega is miles away from the ortega that holloway beat you can't compare that fight mm -hmm. this is a, i mean he's the goat right now in featherweight and until somebody comes in there and starches him which the way it's going he's 120 in a row ain't happening anytime soon no. he's just gonna line him up knock him down i mean what can you say he's the goat we, well, well, it's ice water in this guy's veins. You know, let's let's go to that third round. I mean, that third round, we're all going to... Everyone's going to be talking about that third round. I mean, uh, Ortega takes him. Guillotine gets him. Everybody's pining. I mean, all the commentators jumping off. Like yeah, DC I was already Felder, celebrating. Jumping over each other to get the call, you know, for the clip and everything. And then all of a sudden, this guy just... That new shot, and you just see, I mean, shout out to the producer there, or the switcher, really, switching the camera to switch, captures that pop out. You see Felder pop in the back corner, and next thing you know, it's ground and pound for Volkanovski. You know, and, and just the ability to stay calm when you got a guy like Ortega, whose bread and butter is the guillotine, mm -hmm. when that guy's hanging on your, on your neck like he's an albatross, yeah. to just stay still, you know, not try to squirm, which is going to give him more control, but know how much time you have with getting squeezed and know exactly when you're going to put the pressure to get out. Yeah, and you know who does the editing for these videos with the guy shouting at the camera guy after that fight? <laughs> but Brock, I mean, you were the one thinking that the fight was over with those. How close do you think it was to the finish there? Uh, probably a few more seconds, but just the mental toughness alone from Volkanovski, amazing. Yeah, and then, and then I mean... And to get out of that and then just lay on a friggin' beating. Yeah. Well, I mean, again, like, a couple seconds longer, you might get choked out. A couple seconds longer in the third round, you might finish him in there. Yeah. Incredible. I think at the end of the year for the 11th Island MMA Awards, this is going to be a, We're going to have to make an award. We yeah. had this last year for round of the year. Yeah. And this is definitely one of the nominees for fight of the year. I... This is one I think tomorrow I'm watching back. Mm -hmm, and, yeah. and that doesn't happen many times with these fights. I'm definitely watching... We've been harping on Volkanov. I think a lot of respect has to be given to Ortega here. Yeah. Absolute warrior. I mean, you're looking at the Holloway fight. You're looking at this fight. The guy can't get finished. Mm -hmm. He's taken two losses. He's taken more damage in his two career losses than most fighters. Like, a lot of people have taken a friggin' lifetime. Most guys would not be getting up after any of those. So, what do we got to say about him? Well, I think not only is he fighting off Volkanovski, he's fighting off Herb Dean and the doctors there. <laughs> yeah. He's lucky that, I mean, he's thinking to himself, you know, thank goodness I got, I mean, it's it's a one in five chance that I'm guessing the right fingers, and thank goodness I passed that test. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, the fact that, that we're still in, with all this medical knowledge, you're going, how many fingers, how many fingers... <laughs> And clearly, clearly couldn't see. But I mean, you gotta, you gotta give it to the fighter. He went out on his shield. Mm -hmm. Might have taken a few years off his life. But all the respect in the world to Ortega. By the end of his career, he's gonna be back in another situation. I, and I think at some point that belt gets strapped around his waist. He's too good to not get back to this point. And I think he's with the team around him and the skills that he does have. He can get there. 
Hopefully Volkanovski or Holloway's not waiting for him when he gets back, but I, I think he's still got championship potential. But right at this time, I don't know who can unseat Volkanovski. And to go moving ahead here, I think the big fight on the horizon is going to be the Holloway Rodriguez, which mm -hmm. is going to be. Do you guys agree? I think the winner steps into this. Volkanovski's going to need some time off. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, I do you think there's anybody else that could even deserve a title shot right now? I mean, two things right now, right? I, th I think Holloway, for, first of all, to, to touch one last note on Ortega and what's next for him, the fact that he said, I'm going to get back down, back on the ladder was a really nice moment for him mm -hmm. because he's been in that spot where, you know, you you kind of have a, a fight where you lose, but your stock goes up like that Holloway fight. And I mean, being like me and Brad were at that Holloway fight, that was our first UFC event. So I was really quick on the trigger to want to compare that to this. Mm -hmm. Anytime Ortega fights, because I love that that fight's such a fresh moment. But mm -hmm. DC brought it up, and it's that moment where you kind of you shoot for that title, and then you take that loss. It's a, it's a gamble. Am I ready now? Well, I, I got to go for it now. And next thing you know, oh, I wasn't fully ready. Now I got to go back down the ladder, work my way up. He's been through that. He understands he's not expecting to get a rematch right away. I really like that look from and he's just gonna come back even better. Now for for Volkanovski. Just before just before you keep going on, it's a it's a it's a win or learn business too. Take mm -hmm. this as a learning opportunity, mm -hmm. get back and keep going. I think mm -hmm. and Ortega's the type of guy to really take it as a learning opportunity, yeah. not a hard loss. A and the beautiful thing about MMA, it's not like boxing and you can you can become stronger from a loss. Exactly. Yep. Now for the Holloway fight. Or Hallway, bring in Max Hallway, right? I'm one of the guys that still thinks I that second fight, you know, you know, like I need to see these guys fight it for best of five, you know, really like best of five. But make this well. I mean, if you bring in another fight, you gotta do best. If if Hallway wins, if you gotta do you gotta yeah, do a best of five. Exactly. But if now, if, if, if now, if. because Volkanovski, as you said, he, he's real good. And he's introduced he's introduced something to his game. I think I think both of these guys have gotten better at grappling mm -hmm. for in preparation for Ortega. The difference is Max Holloway focused on t on takedown defense, whereas Volkanovski said, you know, I'm going to do the full thing, and I'm going to be able to reverse, you know, some of the most brutal submission attempts mm -hmm. when once I'm on the ground. And I think that makes him very dangerous against a Max Holloway looking forward. Yeah, I mean, the featherweight division is is so top-heavy right now. It's some absolute killers. I would say, I mean, Holloway Rodriguez happened in, in November, right? I'm pretty it, sure, yeah. So, it's a little ways away. What about the loser of that fight taking Ortega, keep both of those guys around the, around the top, and then the winners facing each other? Mm -hmm. And then, I think, I don't want to assume, because Yad Rodriguez is a killer, but Holloway, I think, gets him there. Yeah. I think, I think we'll be back for an immediate reaction. Might be eating our words there, but... And and if Holloway Volkanovski fight again, I mind you, do people normally want to see a five fights? Because again, like you say, if you run the trilogy, Holloway wins. But you put that on the card, I'm paying for it every single time. Yeah, yeah. And, and and I think like you said with Ortega, I mean, if Holloway s s loses to or uh, Rodriguez, then I mean, that's a fight that we need to see again. And I mean, for the MMA math guys, I know that like, it's a quack science, whatever. It doesn't work out, but our brains are gonna work that way. Now, okay, do we need to see now Ortega go up against Hallway now? This improved Ortega that clearly, I mean, it's a it, very similar to the Hallway fight, but there was there was adjustments. I mean, one of the things is, a he almost got a finish two times at least. Mm -hmm. If we if we're really looking at it, like okay, when was Volkanovski in danger of this? That we were seconds away from a new champion, yeah. you know. But then also, I mean, now like Hallway's also. You know, a very different guy. He's really improved, yep. and he's built his stock. So it'd be interesting to see how these guys line up, and then how you, how do that has that position against Volkanovski, who's just running away with the division right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's a really special night. Do you guys have anything else to add on any of that? Nope. I, no. I, I mean, I think UFC 266. I mean, we got Nick Diaz returning. Even in a losing effort, you have what might be the fight of the year, definitely going to be the round of the year in round three of Volkanovski Ortega. Special night. Nights like this, we pay per views every month. But One of the all time go goats in Shevchenko. Yes. You know? Yeah, I mean, we were skipping right over that. Yeah, it's. Mm -hmm. uh, it's Nights, pay per views like this don't come around too often. Dan Hooker, prelims. <laughs> Dan Hooker for free. <laughs> you don't even have to buy in. Nights like this don't come around too often. You really got to appreciate them when they come. And. 
Thank you for tuning in. Make sure to also check out We Are as Robbie Lawler. So make sure you check that. They'll probably be up next. There's some tags at the end. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. 350 subscriber giveaway coming up. Thank you, Brock, for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Yeah, man. It's always a pleasure to have you here. And I'm sorry I started the music off there really loud. But we finished it. See you later. <laughs> what do you what do you think? This is a charity. We're making these videos for you. Nah, we want the likes on all the videos. Click on those. Insta reactions. Check it out. Diaz. Lawler. Lawler one. Spoiler alert, but still check out the uh, thing. Goodbye.